Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today, I want to encourage you about the scripture that says, The letter kills, but the spirit gives life. I'm, I've been reading in the Gospel of John, and in chapter 9, you might be familiar with the story of Jesus healing the blind man, where he made clay and put it on his eyes and told him to go and wash in the pool of Siloam. And the Pharisees were really upset about that. And it turned out, as you read the account, in verse 14, and it says, And it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made clay and opened his eyes. <gasps> and many times in the scriptures, in the Gospels, we see where Jesus did a miracle, healed someone on the Sabbath day, I think. There was someone who was bowed over, a lady who was bowed over for years and years and years and made her stand up straight, a man with a, a crooked hand. He did that quite a bit. And then he challenged the Pharisees and, and the rulers of the synagogue when they got dismayed because this man can't be of God because he doesn't keep the Sabbath. But the thing is that what Jesus did, was doing was showing mercy. Showing mercy. Which is never uh, outside of God's will. Never outside of God's will on any day. And so my encouragement is that is Jesus. You see, Jesus listened to the Holy Spirit. He didn't, he knew the law. In fact, he is the law. But he knew the law. But he also knew what the Spirit of God was saying. I think there was also a time, yes, that him and his disciples went on the Sabbath day through the cornfields and they were hungry and they ate corn. And it was like the thought police were everywhere watching. The Pharisee, Pharisaic thought police. But they got the wrong idea, these Pharisees, and couldn't see past this legalistic mindset. They were so, I guess they were so insecure that they held on to these, uh, command, the commandment, which is, I think, is it the sixth or seventh commandment, so tightly that they couldn't see the wood for the trees. They couldn't see the... Um, the they couldn't see the spirit because all they were focusing on was the letter. And Jesus, of course, we're going to read shortly, uh, when he died on the cross, he fulfilled all the law and the requirements of the law by taking, he kept the law perfectly and then he took the punishment for the law on the cross and made an end of the law. You know, Christ is the end of the law for righteousness for all who believe it says in the scriptures and then <clears throat> the new covenant was I mean God's always recognized faith but the new covenant is by faith not by works not by keeping the laws and so he put an end to the law and then made a new covenant and then over in if you read second Corinthians chapter 3 that makes it very clear there and it says Paul says here and I'll, I'll start from about verse oh verse 1 3 down to verse 6 it says do we begin again to commend ourselves or need we as some others epistles or letters of commendation to you or letters of commendation from you you are our epistle written in our hearts known and read of all men in other words, your lives declare. Your lives declare the will of God. You don't need it written down on a bit of paper. Your lives declare <clears throat> how we have conducted ourselves and what we have preached. For as much as you are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us. So we don't need the letter. It's shown in the living life of the person written not with ink 
but with the spirit of the living God. Not in tables of stone, that's, the, that's referring to the Ten Commandments, but in fleshy tables of the heart. And such trust have we through Christ to Godward. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God, who has made us able ministers of the New Testament or New Covenant, not of the letter, so not the Ten Commandments and not all the laws, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. In verse 7, it's actually really more explicit and says, But the ministration of death written and engraven in stones was glorious. But if the ministration, sorry, but if the ministration of death written and engraven in stones was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away, how shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? It's been superseded. The letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. There are people today that have a bee in their bonnet about keeping the Sabbath. And if they want to do that, that's fine. But we need the Holy Spirit. That's what the Holy Spirit is for. And He shows us. He shows us what is right to do on what day for us. You, you don't. Paul even said, you know, that you don't have to have a, a, a specific day anymore. You just, whatever day you observe, you observe it unto the Lord, and the Lord will recognize that. It's by faith, not by not by the letter. Oh, I've been a good boy because I've done this. That, that's gone. We need the letter, uh, that's the Spirit of God. And, and the Spirit of God, it says in uh, Romans chapter 5, that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Spirit. <laughs> you know, love doesn't come through the, the letter. The, the, the letter does not bring love. It brings legalism. But the Spirit gives life and love. So that's my encouragement for you today. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, who was the original lawgiver, and now has cut a new covenant with us, if you don't know him, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. He's saved from the curse of the law, saved from sin, saved from death and destruction to come. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him. So then you have the living God dwelling in you by the Holy Spirit. And so you don't need the rules because you've got the God who wrote the rules to speak to you personally. God dwells in him and he dwells in God. God bless you. Have a great day.